This presentation is about our company and our strategy for the future. Disco has a long history, starting as a manufacturer of industrial abrasive wheels in 1937. A factory was established in Kure, where a Japanese Imperial Navy base was located. At the time, Disco intended to enter the military business to polish the barrels of battleship guns. But this endeavor was unsuccessful, as Disco was late to enter this market. Headquarters, as well as sales and marketing activities, were relocated to Tokyo, while the manufacturing facility remained in Kure. By the late 1960s, Disco had developed ultra-thin cutoff wheels. However, there was no equipment which could maximize the performance of these wheels, so Disco began developing its own equipment, and its business focus switched to the field of precision processing. Since then, Disco has grown to become what it is today as the semiconductor industry has grown. In 1977, the company name was changed to Disco Corporation, as Daiichi Sei Tosho Company was difficult for foreigners to pronounce. In 1991, Disco initiated a special new project. The goal was to completely redesign the four existing machine models in time for the Semicon Japan trade show to be held one year later. Fifteen members, averaging 25 years of age, participated. The project was completed, and the new machines, especially the small but powerful DAD320, were an immediate hit around the world. The project leader, Mr. Kazuma Sekiya, later became the president of Disco Corporation, and still serves as the president today. This diagram shows the semiconductor manufacturing process. Disco products are used in the processes framed in red, signifying grinder processes, and blue, signifying dicing processes. Wafer surface grinding. Our grinders are used to planarize the surface of wafers. Wafer backside grinding. Our grinders are used to reduce the thickness of semiconductor devices. Dicing. This process is used to separate wafers into chips. This is one of our main businesses. Package singulation. This is a precision cutting process for molded packages, which has become very popular in recent years. There are actually a number of companies which provide consumables that can be mounted on disco equipment. However, you can see from the first back-end process that the produced wafers are very valuable. Customers cannot risk using inferior products and come back to Disco for its reliable, high-quality products. Disco's management structure has two aspects, organization management and operational management. In 1995, Disco Values was formulated and introduced. Accomplishing the mission is the task of all members of Disco. We all share the same values and work towards the same objectives. Disco Values clarifies the direction management will take and defines the ideals to which employees should aspire. How should Disco be as a company? Which way should we go? Disco Values answers these questions. This is basically equivalent to our corporate philosophy, Disco's judgment and behavior towards the mission. Disco Vision is the set of goals for us to achieve by 2020. Quantitative targets, such as sales and profit figures, are not emphasized with the exception of an ordinary income margin of 20% averaged over four years. Other activities worthy of special mention are PIM, Performage Innovation Management, and the Will Accounting System. PIM is actively promoted throughout the entire Disco group to encourage Kaizen, or improvement, and increase the company's capabilities. The Will Accounting System acts as a measure of each department and individual's performance. The goal is to change personal behavior while also evaluating performance. Cutting, grinding, and polishing technologies have been essential tools for mankind since the beginning of civilization. Ever since its foundation, Disco has worked to master these key technologies. At Disco, these universal technologies are referred to using their Japanese equivalents, Kiru, which means cutting, Kezuru, which means grinding, and Migaku, which means polishing. Disco's role is to advance Kiru, Kezuru, and Migaku technologies by applying them to practical applications and providing solutions in these fields. 
Our mission is to passionately pursue this important role in society. Disco's business strength lies in being a KKM, cutting, grinding, and polishing, technology total solution provider. Disco is actually one of the only manufacturers in the world that produces both precision processing equipment and tools, consumables, and has the application technology to find the optimal combination and usage of the two. The use of specific consumables on specific equipment is a key technology. This is one of the characteristics of our business. Our customers need quality processing results, and Disco continues to be a total solution provider for equipment, consumables, and application technology by delivering optimum processing results rather than simply providing the products. The relationship between equipment and consumables is like that of a printer and toner. Disco currently has around 30,000 types of consumables and 60 equipment models, so the optimization of the recipe is essential. Our next business model is test cuts. Disco has an application laboratory for test cuts where customers from all over the world bring new semiconductors, materials, and processes to find solutions. These test cuts are generally offered at no charge. We have earned an excellent reputation as a supplier of solutions. This is why the number of test cut requests has remained high each year. Our overseas subsidiaries also have the same capabilities. Thus, we understand the market trends and the real needs of our customers. New products continue being developed in this environment, and these new products are designed to meet customer demand. This slide shows Disco's sales composition. Equipment sales make up around 50%, while consumables make up around 20%. Parts, service support, and other services make up around 30%. Tape mounters are included in this category. Tape mounters are used in combination with grinders for ultra-thin processes, for example, NAND flash memory. This graph shows the growth of our consumable business in recent years. As you can see, consumable sales have been increasing annually at a rate of around 9% as sales for these products increases along with the number of semiconductors and electronic products manufactured. Consumable sales are less affected by economic fluctuation than equipment sales, so consumables business serves as a stabilizer for Disco's overall business. Our equipment and consumables can be imagined to have the same relationship as printers and toner ink. However, Disco has around 30,000 different consumable products. As an example, Disco also manufactures up to five special consumables for each customer by request. This graph shows the growth of sales and net income. Production is 100% domestic with two plants, the Kuabata factory and the Kure factory in Kure City, Hiroshima Prefecture. The Kuabata factory manufactures equipment and consumables, while the Kure factory manufactures abrasive wheels, another type of consumable. In addition, there is another factory, the Nagano factory, in Shino City in Nagano Prefecture. These factories all have seismic isolation structures, which is one of the disaster countermeasures being implemented at Disco. As a result, all products are now manufactured in buildings with base isolation structures. This page shows Disco's dividend policy. Disco pays dividends according to its business performance and maintains dividends of 25% of the consolidated half-yearly net income. However, even if profitability is low at any given time, the company will maintain a half-yearly dividend of 10 yen to ensure stable dividend payments. Furthermore, should the balance of cash and cash equivalents exceed the necessary funds budgeted as of the end of the fiscal year, then, excluding situations where there is a deficit, the company's basic policy is to pay an additional dividend of approximately one-third the excess amount. Because the year-end balance of cash and cash equivalents exceeded the necessary funds budgeted, Disco proposes paying an additional dividend of one-third the excess amount in addition to 25% of the consolidated second half net income with regard to the year-end dividend for the current fiscal year. This page shows the calculated surplus distribution as additional dividends.